Welcome to the Corn Corner, and today I'm shaving my head. And although it's not the first time I'm shaving my head, it is the first time that I'm gonna do it myself. And I'm not nervous, you are. <clears throat> well, well, so start. Yeah. So, um, when was the first time you shaved your head? In like 2016. I shaved it for the first time because I had destroyed it with bleach and dye, and my husband Brad did it while I was tied up by my very good friend DWL, who you can find on Instagram. Wow. <laughs> um, did you feel like the very first time you did it, you were super scared? Yeah, because I'd never done it and was like, oh shit, we're really gonna have that face fully out there. Here's me procrastinating by answering questions instead of just starting. Are you gonna stab yourself with the razor thing? It looks like you are. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> oh, happy dagger. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna start and I'll keep answering questions while we're doing it. I'm very thank, nervous. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, here, here we go, squad. Does it ever get easier? <laughs> the last time I feel like it was, so I've done it three times total. So, here we go. How bad does it hurt? It doesn't hurt at all. Oh God, it's so scary. Now you can't go back. Nope. Wow, but. I wish you would have done a mohawk first. Nah, we can't. You can't go through the styles. You gotta commit. Because what oh. if I just stopped at mohawk? Oh, sorry. I don't you, know the rules. Know? I've never done it. Yeah. Um, so... This is a very gender-affirming item to do. Uh, yes. But um, I think the cool thing about head shaving is, is that it's affirming for your gender no matter what your gender identity is. Yeah. Yeah, because even if you're femme, it's kind of a um, rebellion against beauty standards in a way. Yeah. And if you're mask, it's it is mask culture. Yeah, like it's embracing full mask culture and well, like shaving your head, no matter what gender you are, is like such a vulnerable, exposing thing. And I think that's like why a lot of people like doing it. Cause it's like, hair is such a tool to hide behind, or to like use as an accessory. And when you don't have it, oh boy. <laughs> is the first time you shaved your head and you're really scared? Yeah. After you shaved it, was it scary or were you happy about it? No, I was like stoked cause one, it looked really cool cause I had bleached my hair like fairly recently before shaving it. And I had like little like bleach tippy shaved head, which I think is like a super cool look with like a little bit of root, but not a ton. So I was like, this looks tight. And then I started growing it out and I didn't get haircuts forever. Cause I was like, I'm just gonna grow it out and like see what happens. Mm -hmm. But it looked like shit. Okay. <laughs> so then I got insecure. <laughs> And you said that shaving your head was one of the first things you did in relation to an outward transition. Yeah. So like, the first, well, it was cutting my hair, really. Cause like the first time I shaved my head, I wasn't like, I didn't know much about non-binary and I definitely didn't identify as trans. I was just kind of like exploring. And then I was like, Wow, I feel really weird because I, I was still trying to be feminine because I felt like I needed to. So it was like a really hard time. And then I grew my hair out really long again. And then the second time I shaved my head, or I, no, the second time was after. So I grew my hair out really long. And then I got to the point in like gender and transition awareness that I was like, this long hair thing isn't really me. And I made a huge leap of like cutting my hair from well past my shoulders. Like it yeah. was like down to like here to all the way up here. Yeah. And that was like a really big deal. <laughs> yeah. Cause it was like a choice in terms of like gender shit. Yeah. Um, and then I took like steps. This is like such an awkward side to get my left side. I took steps to like I'm probably missing so many spots. No, it's good actually. You're doing a great job. <laughs> there you go. I kept going shorter and shorter once I did shave it. Or once I did cut it the initial time. 
and like it was like up to here and then up to yeah. here and then I did an undercut while still had the big floppy. Yeah. And then I did like a really short cut like how it was before I shaved it just now. And then I was like, fuck it, let's just fully go for it and start over. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, this stuff's thick. Whew. You have one right at the front of your left side. Over here. Yeah, you see? No, I don't. <laughs> now you don't. <laughs> wow. But the whole thing is, is that every time I've shaved my head, I've had my head shaved. Like someone else has done it. Yeah. And um, two of the three times it was like sexualized for content of a certain nature. <laughs> there you go. So this is the first time I'm shaving it myself and not for anything but for myself. So that's kind of like the, the big deal of it. Wow. And I was really nervous, as you know. It took a lot to get here. <laughs> yeah, but we're here, and there's no turning back. You can't stop now. I can't glue it back on? No. Damn it. Maybe we should do a video of you trying to glue it back on. That'd be funny. It would be. <laughs> wow. I can make a wig of it for you if you want. Please. Yeah, I think this hair is really healthy. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's a good it thing. It does look like animal hair a little bit. Yeah. It looks thick and, you know. So that's also one of the points of it. I have to get my little cowlick back here. You may have to help me with this part eventually. I can help. I can't see here. Uh, is that every time I do shit to my hair, I bleach it and dye it. Yeah. Because I'm not confident with my own hair color. Like, I always look for some way to make it something different, kind of to, like, hide behind. And the whole point of shaving your head is that you don't have anything to hide behind. So my goal this time is to grow it out just, like, my actual hair color, which I haven't had... Like, I haven't just, like, been me with my natural hair color in, like, 20 years. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm trying to start over completely. And, you can do it. Yeah, and grow it out natural. I don't know how long we'll grow it out, but... That's a thing. Look at this. Your hair is dark. It's really dark. Now we go in every direction. You're doing so good. Everyone's so proud of you. <laughs> Little soldier. There's so much stubble on me. Like, yeah. shaved stubble. <laughs> wow. Have you ever done no hair at all? No. Like, bicked it? Yeah. Or like, whatever, straight to the scalp? Yeah. No, I don't... For me, a bit much, I think. Yeah. I think a lot of people can pull it off. I don't think I'd be one of them. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. Wow. Behind your ear a little bit. This one? Mm, Both another. Them, probably. I can't see that ear. I got hairs on me now. We'll have to clean it up at the end. Uh, yeah. What advice would you have for people that want to cut their hair but are scared? Uh, my advice would always be to just do it, because at the end of the day, hair grows back. That's the great thing about it. Yeah. So don't be held back by being scared to do something new, and just try something new, because like, when I had my hair grown out long before I cut it short and worked towards shaving it for like the second time, I like would never envision myself as someone who would just like wear short hair like long term like i always thought i was someone who would like shave it and then grow it long like as soon as possible but i ended up keeping my hair short for like well over a year and liked it a lot more than having long hair yeah and cutting it off that time also made me realize a lot of stuff like gender wise <laughs> and that uh I, I was like really using my hair to hide behind mm -hmm. and cutting it off freed me to explore my gender and explore transitioning outwardly more fully than I ever would have been able to be when my hair was long. So it was like an extremely freeing experience that way. Uh, not even shaving it fully, just like cutting it from here to here. Yeah. Because it took like that whole barrier away of like 
this long feminine feature and and not having that to like hide behind yeah how did it feel doing it yourself it was fun <laughs> yeah do you think you're gonna do it more i don't know i really want to grow it my natural color to be like floppy and curly yeah because of all of the bleaching my hair's not been its natural texture in like forever which is you know bad but my hair is very curly and nice so i like want to get it back to like flop but who knows we'll see how i feel have you ever time. gotten your hair cut at like a super cuts no actually i think you should yeah just to, hum harden just you. to humble me yeah that's gonna harden you <laughs> quick that's an experience you should have you should do it i started going to um barber shops instead of uh salons that's nice. that was a gender experience was that scary it was but so like the first time I went to a barber shop instead of a salon, I'm probably just covered in this shit. It doesn't matter. It yep. is what it is. Uh, I still went to a, the only girl that worked at the barber shop because it felt safer. Yeah. And <laughs> then like just happened to keep going to barber shops where like the only person available was a girl. So like my next big goal when my hair grows out longer is to go to a barber shop and see a guy yeah and get my hair cut by a guy at like a barber shop that's catered towards like dudes love that I'm that's actually, awesome yeah wow any any final questions <laughs> i like just so everyone knows i have bad vision so i can't actually see the <laughs> small camera monitor so i don't know what i look like right now you look really. good so i'm that's why i'm just like well the left side looks good. I can't tell you how the right side looks. We're definitely gonna have to clean it up a little bit after, probably. We're gonna clean you up, but you did a really good job. But right now, it's we're it's there. Yeah, you look great. You look great with a shaved head. I've always said it. I will continue to say it. It's scary. I know it's scary, but you know what? There's nothing to be scared about. <laughs> as long as you're at the corner, there's nothing to be scared about. By that, we mean the corn corner. <laughs> we can frame that. <laughs> I'll put it in a little jar for you and give it to you. Or we'll, we'll raffle it off. Yeah. No, you can't give your hair to people. They can do magic with it. Oh, then we won't. Never mind. It's bad. Wow. Well. Well. Final thoughts. If you're someone who's struggling with their gender identity or a decision to, to cut your hair as it relates to such things, you should just do it. And... Don't be scared. If you are scared, do take your time, but it is a very good choice, and I think you'll be glad that you did it. I love that, <laughs> and I agree. <laughs> wow. Well, amazing. I'm happy to witness it. This was scary, for the record. This, I can tell. This took a lot of lead up. You've been thinking about it for four days. And a long time before that. Yeah. But every day, I've been like, I'll do it today. Yeah, that's also was like a reason not to. I think a good point to say here is that we had a lot of big items that we had to do, and you're like, "Well, I just let me go do this thing, then I'll shave it." Yeah. Let me go do this thing, then I'll shave it. Yeah. <laughs> so, do you wish that you would have shaved it at the beginning of the trip? No, I think uh, the right time presented itself. Love that. And now we're here, and we did it. Agreed. Agreed. I you mean, can see that neck tattoo get better now? Oh, yeah. That Sarah looks cool, too. Right, good. Do you have any final thoughts, questions, anything? I never thought about it from your perspective, how scary it could be, um, and how hair is a form of... It's a shield. Yeah. It's a barrier. Hair is know? definitely armor. I never thought about that. But in the same way that long hair is an accessory and armor and something you can use to... Not not only hide behind, but like if if you're someone who expresses femininity or something in that way, to to use it that way. But shaving your head is also armor, I think, because it's like fully getting rid of a crutch. In my position, I'm not saying like everyone's yeah. using a crutch by having long hair. Everyone's got long. Hair. Yeah, in my specific experience. Grow up, yeah, people. God, yeah. <laughs> No, it's it's getting rid of a crutch that keeps you from expressing yourself how you want to be and being seen the way you want to be. So it's it's accessing like a type of strength 
by getting rid of something because it, it like takes everything away and makes you vulnerable but strong at the same time does that make sense it does okay it does it does it makes you do something uncomfortable yeah and that's important getting out of your comfort zone yes and pushing yourself all of that well thanks for letting me see this Thank, thanks everyone for joining us here on the Cone, Corn Corner for this vulnerable experience. This Cone, the cone Corner. Thank I'm you. all fucked up now. <laughs> you done goofed. I'm all like endorphiny and, and like adrenaline because I'm I like. Uh. <laughs> well, let's go. Let's go. Let's go look out in the mirror. Yeah. Reveal time. And then take a shower. Let's get you in that shower. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> See any reason for it not to be focusing on me? The box is right over me. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> um, shit. <laughs>